Greetings fellow hooligans of the internet, welcome back to another episode of War Thunder. Today we are playing the EBR 1951. It has the same turret and gun off of the 3.3 or 3.7 AMX 13 FL11. And the same chassis as the EBR 1954 and the EBR 1963, which also have turrets and guns off of AMX 13s, but different models. Uh, backing up this vehicle in combat, we have the P47D22RE, a premium American fighter in the French tech tree. We have the AMX 13 DCA40, which is the anti-aircraft model of the AMX 13, and then the M4A4 because for some storming reason, the French tech tree has no 4.0 main battle tanks. The only they only have the one 4.0 uh, light tank and the one 4.0 anti-aircraft. It's, other than those two tanks, it skips directly from 3.7 to 5.0 oh, and 5.3. Like, it's kind of annoying, but that's what we've got. Until Gaijin sees fit to add a 4.0 Sherman like the standard M4, like M4A2. I don't actually know why the M4A4 is a 3.7 and the M4A2 is a... 4.0 but that's Gaijin for you so this is what we're rolling with until they give us more 4.0 tanks in the French tech tree so let's go ahead and get into a battle now one thing about this specific model of EBR is that it doesn't have it's not a premium so it, you don't have access to all the shells your gun can fire from the get-go you're not as fast as you can be and if you don't have FP uh, fire protection or or you have to research fire protection and spare parts other than that the only difference is the gun for the this model um, and the other models of EBR at least that I can tell unfortunately I've not played this thing enough to get anywhere close to it being spaded so I've only got the M72 shot and the M48 shot available to me and I don't like using the high explosive shells with the smaller caliber guns like anything below 100 millimeters I can't stand using the high explosive shells because it does absolutely nothing to everything I shoot like nothing I've ever shot with a high explosive shell under 100 millimeters has actually done anything Like whether it be an open top vehicle that I hit the top of, or like just barely nicked the top of, or a anti-aircraft that I smacked right into the middle of the crew compartment. I have a bad feeling I got up here to 5.0. No, I see, I might have actually gotten down here to 3.0 because I only see M24s. so I can eat okay, I got killed assist and then killed by a student We're ahead of the enemy. I'm gonna say he's around that far away oh no he's a little bit farther away than that go ahead and do there Got a hit, no good. Missed, just went right over top of him. Got another hit. 
D34 up there, but it didn't give me the scout for some reason. Scouting is broken. Puma just shot him. I don't know where this Puma is, so I'm kind of spooked. He has to be somewhere in sight of here so you'd be able to shoot. My buddy. I'm gonna get shot in the side and die to the Puma. Need you turning it off on me again while I'm in the middle of the gameplay. Let's keep the pressure on. Victory is close. There we go, we got our first kill. There we go. Finally, the scout worked. Please go that way. Oh, there's a, there's a KV-1. Oh dear, come on! Why? Why in the Sam Hill did that not kill him? got paired up with the Germans and here's someone playing the wonderful T-34-747 from the German tech tree. Wonderful premium tank. If you want something that's good to pair alongside your Panzer IVs, a T-34 is an excellent choice. And if you already have it, Unfortunately, I don't know when or if Gaijin will ever re-release it for people to buy, but Herman the German Sherman, which is an M4747R. So, Germany is the only tech tree to have all three tanks. Panzer IV, T-34, 
M4. But, um, well, actually, it kind of makes sense, because as far as, I'd, I'd have, uh, someone would have to do research, but I'm pretty sure that was the only country that actually fielded all three of those tanks. Not because they manufactured them or bought them, but because, well, they, one of those tanks they did, but the other two tanks they captured. But anyway, I really hope Gaijin makes Herman the German Sherman avail available to purchase again. Because that was one premium tank that I really wanted. And I was really upset when I realized that they had made it available to buy for a limited time. And then I just missed it. Hello, AMX-13. You and I have the same turret and gun. Artillery fire, artillery fire. Transmission. Repairing. You got my turret ring, though. Nice. Please ignore the cats in the dryer. T thirty four, kill him. I'm racking up the points just by uh, sitting here. Oh, I was not expecting that. At least someone listened and was like, oh, there is enemy here. Let's shoot him. Without backup. The enemy's getting closer to victory. I don't encounter that heavy tank that's over here. And if I do, hopefully I come around its backside so I can just shoot it dead.
Oh, that was a KV2. That could have been really bad. So far, we got two kills and four assists and one capture point to our name. We have most of the zones. Let's go, boys. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to attempt to capture another point. I'm gonna go pure killing mode and attempt to kill everything in my path. This thing, again, EVR level status. Oh, that was weird. That was really weird. Well, it's still recording. But I still have sound. I wonder why it just did that. Anyway. Maybe the cat is playing with my display cable, which I doubt because it goes straight from the computer to the capture card to my screen, so. I'm dead. Tank's a tank, whether it's good or not, stands on what it goes up against and what how it performs up against that foe. For instance, this is a light tank slash scout tank. So if I use it as such, trying to stay away from the actual battle and just go straight, it's just kind of like do scout things, then it will perform perfectly. But if I put myself, like, just now, in the position where I'm facing down a T-3485... Ow. Well, what just shot me from the side? Got him. It's kind of like video games, actually, in a sense. Someone will say, oh, War Thunder is the best, and then someone else will say, no, World of Tanks is the best. And someone else will say... Oh. Uh. Someone else might say that... Clash of Clans is better. It's like... Ow, I got shot from something. Something shot me. I got him. Where's that... Where's that enemy tank? There he is. He's a. It's that T thirty four eighty five that killed me. Come on, man. Keep backing up. I shouldn't hold forward like that because now he's gonna have moved. I'm going to have missed my shot. Attention to the map. 
and I got yeeted by something else. Nice. Oh, this map has changed a little bit, it feels like. Oh! It has changed a tiny bit. The spawn... This spawn is now behind a hill, rather than on the top of the hill. Meaning it's less likely you get sniped. Does it seem smaller? It also seems smaller. It's like the buildings are all the same size, but the distance between our spawn... What? Okay, I'm confused. It feels like there's less distance in between our spawn and the A-point, even though the A-point looks like it's in the same spot. And our spawn should be, it feel like it's farther away from our... from the A-point, because it's behind a hill now, rather than right there, right over there by that building. I'm just so confused. Oh no. So we got up tier to 5.0, that's why. At that point, I'm surprised I survived a shot from a dang. Yeah. Let's see. Moving over there, facing this direction. No, not this point in time. But. That should have counted as a scout. Feels like it's going to be another loss for us. Come on, Crafty. Fly to me. Fly to me. He's too distracted with you to notice me.
Crafty, turn around. Got him. Oh, there's another one. Shh, Hello, it's a... Oh, look, it's a rush. It's my Russian brethren. Got him. Oh, I got a hit on him. Come on, crash. Come on, crash. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh yeah. someone else entirely. EBR speed. Get to the B point EBR. No. 
Ah, storm it. Oh well. Well, swell. I'm gonna call the video here, guys. If you enjoyed said video and the content within it, leave a like, leave a comment, and if you enjoy the content of my channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Anyway, we'll see ya in the next one. Bye!